So heat number eight. Sam Marshall's happy, he moves away. Green light is on, tapes are up. Certainly a smashing start on the inside from Robert Lambert. He fires himself to the front. Frick's around the inside. Oh, Here comes Bewley. Bewley coming through there just into traffic. Had to come out of the throttle twice. Thompson's at the back, but Robert Lambert absolutely nailing that off the inside. Smashing move from him. Bewley back in third oh, place. Bewley up the inside. Fabulous move from Dan Bewley once again, showing great speed and determination. Super move from him. I tell you what, what a reaction that was from Dan Bewley. He made that cutback so, so quickly. Had to change direction on the sixpence, but he does it, and he's now giving chase to a compatriot, uh, Robert Lambert, who's out front. I think Robert's going to have the beating of him if he can just keep the back wheel in the dirt off the corners. I can't see Bewley getting past him, but I'll tell you what, Dan has got slightly more speed than Robert. Indeed he has, he's pushing on, oh, here he comes he now. Chops back to the inside, trying to square the corner off. He was kind to him there. Very much, a lot of respect for two, the two riders. Into the final turn for the last time. As they come off the corner, Robert Lambert's just going to hang on. Smashing race out in front between the two Brits. Marshall moving away, green light is on, tapes are up and we're underway. What a start from Nielsen there, that's smashing stuff from him. Bewley now, what a start. Oh, Doyle. What a, Doyle, Doyle, what a fabulous turn back there. Fantastic stuff from him. Kim Nielsen now coming through in the second place. Superb move there on the first turn from Jason Doyle. Bewley's vulnerable with Kim Nielsen now slamming the door shut. And Dan Bewley, wow, he's gone to the back with Matze Janowski coming through. Bewley now suddenly finding himself oh. alongside, oh, there's all sorts of action going going on behind Jason Doyle, but that move in the first corner from Jason Doyle was out of the top draw. Yeah, Janoski just putting the brakes on behind Doyle as he roared into turn three, a little bit too hot maybe, but uh, Dan Bewley hasn't given up. He's beginning to be able to generate a bit of speed. He's looking for the inside line now. He's shaking off Kim Nielsen, so he's got a bit of freedom to do what he wants. Meanwhile, Janoski hasn't given up with Jason Doyle either. No, it's a battle down the back straight for the final time. Doyle just about hanging on. One last blast round the outside from Janowski, but Jason Doyle, yes, he does it. It's hanks up. Oh, long pause. Martin Vassilic missed it completely. Leon Manson and Anders Thompson neck and neck to the first corner. Manson now firing himself to the front. Here comes Vassilic from nowhere. Here comes Janowski. also from another country. Down the inside, firing himself into that customary second place, which he's been uh, hogging. He loves it, he's isn't been it? looking after that all night long, that's for sure. Thompson in third place, but Leon Manson out in front. Janowski's had speed. He looks competitive once again here. Now winding it on. Can he get the better of the Danish boy? In front, but Leon Madsen looking good. Not good news for Vasilik out the back, though. No, not good news for him at all. And uh, Janowski needs to really, to be absolutely certain, he needs to hang on to that second place. We've had a track grade, and there really isn't much of a dirt line around the outside. It's a queue around the curb. But Leon Madsen, we've said it so many times, he can make good speed when the track's slick and consistent, looks comfortable up front. Yeah, he's set for another win here this evening. That'll be his third win and he'll comfortably go through to the semi-finals. And he looks good there with Janowski coming through for five second places on the evening. Heat number 19, then green lights on, tapes up, we're underway. Nielsen's made a smashing start on the inside, clear into the first corner. Here comes Hold around the outside, trying to get the better of his compatriot. Oh, it's tight there with Wozniak coming up the inside of Max Frick. Oh, and a bit of argy bargy. Kim Nielsen out in front. Here comes Holder. Oh, here comes Holder, Holder now. Move. Super move from him. He needed the win. He's fired himself to the front. Kim Nielsen now relegated to second place. Not what Max Frick needed at all back in third. But Jack Holder is back against the wall needed a win, producing really when he needed to. He's been chased by Kim Nielsen, but Jack Holder, second in the championship chase, coming good when he really needed to. Yeah, Jack Holder coming from gate four, didn't make a bad start, just got across uh, two other riders. Kim Nielsen led him, but he great cut back on the first lap, and now he's looking reasonably comfortable. I'm sure he'll be hearing all the noises. He knows he's got to win this race. He's just working the track now. You can see how hard he's riding. He's stretched his arms, his body weight's as far back as it can be down the straights. They're all suffering from wheel spin. Jack Holder then, a crucial win for him in the context of the evening and the championship. Well, we'll wait and see. 
Right, settling down then. Start Marshall just about happy. Yes, he is. He moves away. Green light is on and we're underway. Fast start from the inside from Smarsley. He holds the inside. Dawes following him through. Round the outside is Matsey Janowski with the front two. Have got away here. Freshly prepared track. No uh, looking for the outside run this time. Smarslik out in front. Jason Dole chasing hard. I sense it's going to be awfully difficult now for Holder or Janowski to fire themselves into a qualifying spot. Tell you what, it's only going to take a very small mistake from Jason Doyle for Jack Holder to be through. Carrying plenty of speed. He's right on his tail. He's going to want to rattle his cage and force him into an error. He's trying awfully hard now. Holder, Holder for looking for a way through on the inside. Has to put the brakes on there with Doyle slamming the door shut. Smarslick's comfortable. A lap to go for the world champion. He's looking set for another final here this evening. Doyle hanging on. Doyle hanging on because Jack Holder's coming on strong. Holder with one last blast round the outside. We're looking at Smarslick. Oh, Holder's oh, made a comeback. And there's a hole there. Doyle hangs on. Semi-final number two, tapes up now, we're underway. Good start on the inside from Madsen, but a better one from Lingwin. What a run to the first corner. Here comes Wuffenden. Wuffenden has come through there, but Leon Lambert. Lambert is coming through as well, but Leon Madsen, they went either side of Wuffenden down the back straight, but Freddie Lingwin, there's just no holding him back. Disappointing in his last qualifying ride, but he fires himself to the front in semi-final number two. Uh, Lingwin has been pretty consistent this year, and uh, as you say, disappointing last time out. He's making no mistake here. He's pulling clear of Madsen, who in turn is pulling clear of uh, Robert Lambert. He's had to battle with Ty Wolfenden, trying to defend. He needs every championship point he can get. But this race settling down up front with Freddie Lindgren and Leon Madsen set to go through. Freddie Lindgren out in front. Disappointment for the Brits. They're going to miss out on the final this evening. But for Leon Madsen making another final, he's looking good in second place. But for fast Freddie Lindgren after the disappointment in Tetra two weeks ago where he failed to make the semi-finals, he's in another final. <laughs> final time of the night. Sartre Marshall's happy. Green lights on. Tapes are up and are underway and they charge into the first corner. Oh, it's tight the first corner. Lindgren's hit the deck. Doyle's made a really hard move there. Oh, it's down. <laughs> Tough move from Jason Doyle. He actually makes a very good start from uh, gate three. He's there level with Smarslick. Then he decides, right, OK, I've got to clamp it down. And he does that. He has every right to do that. Lingren then can't avoid him. And in trying to do so, then crashes. That, to me, is a very tight first turn and should be all full back. We'll wait and see which way the referee from Ukraine goes here. Latosinski. But uh, certainly no racing room there. <laughs> Green light is on. Tapes are up and we're underway. Schmalz leg once again. Oh, again. Doyle! Doyle comes charging across out of gate number three. What a stunning start. Round the outside, oh. Madsen! Madsen comes from nowhere. Comes to the front. Superb move there from the Daily Rider. Here comes Barto Schmalz leg up the inside of Jason Doyle. Surging into second place. Oh, clash again. again. Freddie Lingwin just collecting Jason Doyle on the way through. Red lights are on once again. But here we see it again, Chris. Yeah, his reaction from the start was so good. Then he gets beat up. There he gets the dirt deflector on the wheel. He's got off the bike. It's a tough one for the referee. That is a really difficult call because uh, Freddie Lingren certainly was doing everything he possibly could to hold the inside. But he comes in hard, comes in very hard. But it is the final. Either way, this is going to be brutal on either rider. Yeah, it is. Who's going to go? Grand final in Gorjov. Tapes up for now. Roaring to the first corner. Smarslick and Lingren. Lingren's got there. Leon Madsen, keep your eyes on Madsen. He He's going to roar around the again. outside. Madsen fires himself to the front. Smarslick is relegated to third place. Brilliant move from Leon Madsen. It's worked a treat for him with no rider on gate number three. And Madsen now beginning to power. And here comes Smarslick around the outside. What a move from the championship leader. Winding it on. Leon Madsen now coming under all sorts of oh, pressure. Smarslick, oh, the door slam. 
and he's looking for a way through. Well, we said, uh, we begged the question, can Smarzik overtake? I've got a feeling it's coming here. He's not going to go. Oh, he has given it up, gone straight to the outside. That was a very, very quick decision from Smarzik. He's got to be cutting back now, got to be. One last chance now for Bartosz Marslik, right out in the dirt. Leon Madsen has ridden a storm around in front. One last chance, up the inside, Smarslik oh, and he's done it. He's, he's done forced it. his oh. way to the front. Oh. What a ride from Bartosz Marslik. Back-to-back Grand Prix wins. The crowd are on their feet. He is an absolute superstar. Wouldn't be denied tonight. What a fabulous victory for Bartosz Marslik. Desperate for the championship, oh, but nonetheless, nonetheless. What does that what? mean to him? Look at it, back here at Gorzhov. Leon Madsen actually rode up the safety fence in that last turn. <laughs> Incredible scenes here in Gorzhov in the Edward Yancez Stadium. A fabulous conclusion to a Grand Prix here.